Hi, in this video, we'll see how you can resubmit a takeoff uh, for, for three different use cases. So I'll talk through um, how you can resubmit a takeoff when you get an addendum and you want the software to identify what quantities changed and by how much. Uh, that's one of the ways, uh, one of the reasons why you might want to resubmit a takeoff. The second resubmission can be because uh, you want the software to take off uh, some new items that you previously hadn't instructed the software to take off for you. And then the third category in which, uh, for which you might want to um, resubmit or take off would be um, if you want us to make any corrections for you, let's say you see some, some errors, some mistakes, uh, and you don't want to spend your time correcting those using this toolbar at the top, you can let us know and we will correct those uh, for you on priority uh, without any cost. So. To resubmit a takeoff that's been completed, go to that takeoff and have that uh, takeoff opened on your screen just like this. Then you need to click on this button that says resubmit and addendum. Once you click on that button, you'll see this window open up and it gives you three separate options. The first option is the first category that I talked about, which is add addendum. So let's say you get addendums and you want the software to auto detect those changes for you. So in that case, uh, just tap on this add addendums for these plans uh, section, uh, uh, menu uh, option, type in your instruction, like take off all the revisions and then click on proceed to upload plans and then you can click on this button and upload the new files and then you can hit submit. And once you do that, the software will process uh, the output for you and very similar to how you run a normal takeoff. Once a takeoff is completed, you'll get an email notification um, once the takeoff is complete. So you can go in and review that. Typically when uh, an addendum based takeoff is completed, you'll see uh, it'll, look, it'll look something like this. So what I'm trying to show you is that it'll have this button next to the thumbnail, which says V2. So it's actually a button. And if you click on that button, you'll be able to see the two different versions, V1 being the original version of the takeoff, V2 being the, the new version that we just submitted. And you can flip between the two to see um, the differences. Uh, visually um, and then if you want the software to generate a, a change order report uh, in an excel format you can click on this uh, menu uh, and then you'll be able to see a supplementary file button in here and if you click on that uh, the software will download a change order report for you and this is what it'll look like uh, again this is not a, a hwack example but uh, the the change order report will look very similar it will give you your item name the measured quantity, any description, it'll tell you the value of the quantity in the in the new version of the plans, value in the previous version. It'll tell tell you the change in the between a uh, change in the quantities from the previous version to the new version, and tell you exactly what changed uh, in this remarks column. So, uh, this is what a, a change order Excel output would look like. Um, so that's that's one case in which you want, might want to resubmit a takeoff. The other case would be uh, if you want us to um, you know, make any corrections. Let's say if you find some errors, you can select this option, type in, hey, so and so items look incorrect. And maybe you want to click on this uh, button and upload a picture that is pointing towards that mistake. And then you can hit submit and we will process uh, the corrections for you on priority. In case we have questions, we'll reach out uh, for clarification. Uh, the third option would be uh, if you want to request take off a new workable sheets. Uh, let's say uh, previously you just asked the software to take off quantities for flow one, and now you want the software to take off the quantities for flow two. So you can type in take off quantities flow for flow two, and then you can hit submit, and the software will run those quantities for you. And once it's complete, you will be notified via email. So uh, that's how you can take it off um, and, and submit uh, the, the takeoff for, for uh, any corrections or any addendums. Uh, let us know if you have any questions. Uh, you can find the support email ID in the description box in this video. Thank you.